In this video, I am going to talk about how to perform multiple hypothesis testing uh, using the F-test uh, method. Okay, so we all know that how to uh, test a single hypothesis. So that is known to us. It's a very popular thing, um, which is the T-test. Right, so how do we perform a T-test? Uh, well, we have a null hypothesis. Let's, for example, uh, beta, which is uh, estimated from a regression equation. We test it for beta equal to uh, 0. Uh, and the alternative hypothesis is beta is not equal to 0. Right. So we, uh, what you do is we uh, compute the test, uh, t test statistics, the t value. And then we compare it with some threshold value from the table and then, uh, you know, uh, whether uh, we accept uh, the uh, null hypothesis or just reject the null hypothesis. Okay, so that's the uh, standard way of uh, doing the test, uh, t, uh, t test uh, hypothesis testing. But that's only uh, for a single hypothesis. What if we have multiple hypotheses in place? For example, we want to test beta 1 is 0 and beta 2 is 1. That means we want to test both the hypotheses at the same time. So when we have multiple parameters, so multiple distributions in place, remember we only have beta in the first case. When we are doing these statistics, we only have beta here, right? So uh, the distribution of beta uh, is only a single distribution. Whereas when we have more than one parameter, let's say we have beta 1 here and then beta 2, we want to test some values uh, whether beta 1 is 0 and beta 2 is 1 at the same time. That means we have multiple distribution here. We can't use t statistics. A t stat, uh, t uh, test hypothesis is not uh, suitable for this. So what we can use is the F test. So F test is suitable for uh, you know testing multiple hypotheses at the same time. So let's take an example to understand this. So here is an example. We have this regression equation y equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2. Uh, the hypothesis we want to uh, test is whether beta 1 plus beta 2 uh, is equal to 1. So this is the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis is not equal to 1. Right? So this is considered as some sort of a restriction on the regression. Right? And there are two parameters, remember, beta 1 and beta 2. So we can't use this test, uh, t test. We can we have to use the F test here. Okay. So how do we use F test? And how does F statistic look like? First thing uh, to do is to calculate the F statistic. So F statistic is calculated by uh, by this. Uh, the uh, uh, restricted uh, residual sum of square minus the unrestricted uh, residual sum of square divided by the unrestricted uh, unrestricted uh, residual sum of square multiplied to t minus k by m so i'll talk about these terms uh, these notations uh, in detail okay uh, so let's first talk about what is restricted uh, residual sum of square and unrestricted uh, residual sum of uh, square Okay. So we all know about the residual sum of square, right? The RSS, right? So there are two versions of this RSS. One is restricted one, and the other one is unrestricted one. So why do we need that? Okay. So how we arrive at these terms is is like this. So we have this unrestricted regression. Okay. Y equal to beta naught plus beta one x one plus beta two x two. The one we started with, right? There is no restriction in this case. So okay, we we simply uh, estimate it from data and beta naught, uh, beta 1, beta 2 can take any values. There is absolutely no restrictions. The moment we want to test a hypothesis that beta 1 plus beta 2 equal to 1, so that's a, that's a restriction that we are imposing now. So we, if we want to test a hypothesis like this, we have to re-regress the regression or re-estimate the parameters by imposing this uh, these restrictions. And what is the restriction? The restriction is that beta 1 plus beta 2 has to be 1 in the um, regression equations. Right? So the moment you force that or, or restrict the parameters, the parameters are no more, uh, or parameter uh, are no more, um, uh, you know, uh, no more has the flexibility to any value. 
right so there is a restriction in this case so uh, the restricted equation will look like this okay we have the original equation but it is subject to the fact that beta 1 plus beta 2 equal to 1 so how do we restrict it so mathematically what we do is that we simply uh, you know uh, substitute the value of beta 2 uh, in terms of beta 1 in this uh, regression equations so beta 2 is nothing but 1 minus beta 1 right since beta 1 plus beta 2 equal to 1 so beta 2 is equal to 1 minus beta 1 so we put that in the original equation so that's a restriction we are putting or constraint we are putting right so y becomes beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus 1 minus beta 2 so we substitute 1 minus beta 1 in place of beta 2 and x2 but we cannot estimate the above equations why so there is a reason behind it because beta 1 has to be you know associated with just single variable but is in this case beta 1 uh, is uh, associated with multiple variables and that could uh, create problem okay so every software nowadays has this uh, problem so we need to rearrange this equation a bit uh, then we should be able to uh, you know do the uh, estimation so we have these equations y equal to beta 1 plus beta 1 x1 plus 1 minus beta 1 x2 uh, we expand this so we uh, multiply x2 with 1 and x2 with beta 1 so we arrive at this equation right so we rearrange it we take x2 which is you know not having any beta parameter associated with to the left hand side okay so this is y minus x2 and all uh, you know all terms in the right hand side has to have uh, uh, some sort of a beta associated with it so this is the intercept and then beta 1 x1 minus beta 1 uh, x2 right so why are we doing it because every uh, variable every uh, whether it's x or y has to be uh, uh, sorry if it is x then it has to have a beta parameter associated with it and if it's not then it cannot be used in the regression so better to take in the left hand side okay so this is some sort of an uh, you know uh, rearrangement of the terms so, so as to uh, you know make the regression uh, or estimation uh, smoother okay so left hand side we have y, y minus x2 and we took beta 1 as the common in this case beta beta 1 x1 here and beta 1 x2 so we took beta 1 and we have x1 minus x2 in this case and then y minus x2 so we are essentially regressing y minus x2 with x1 minus x2 right so what we do is that we simply uh, change the terms in the we simply uh, replace the terms with some sort of a you know better notation so let's take y minus x2 is p so this is another variable and x1 minus x2 as q just simply for you know sake of notations there, there's nothing different we are not changing anything in the regression so now the regression equation has become p equal to beta naught plus beta 1 uh, q right and then we can uh, do the regression or do the estimation so when we do this estimation we will be able to find the uh, residual sum of square and this will be the un, uh, the restricted residual uh, sum of sum of square okay so this will be the restricted sum of uh, residual sum of square because we have done the restriction we have put the constraint in the first case in the earlier side it was unrestricted and we put that in the f statistic formula that we show you showed you in the previous slide and you will get the f statistics value and then Similarly, the way you used to do in uh, t-test, we can uh, compare it with uh, some threshold value from the table, f-statistic table, and then uh, decide whether uh, null hypothesis is accepted or, or it's rejected. Right? So that's essentially how we can use an f-statistics, and this is the logic uh, or, or the theory behind uh, using f-statistics for multiple uh, hypothesis testing.